hello hi welcome to my channel today i'll be making nigerian suya so suya is a spicy meat skewer popularly eaten in west africa and what makes suya so special is the unique spice used to season the meat so i've got my spice here and i'll be putting the link for the recipe at the end of this video and also in the description box so i've got oil so you can use any type of oil that you like Either olive oil or vegetable oil. I'll be using two cuts of meat. I've got the sirloin and this is the tozo. We call this tozo in Nigeria. It's the hump of the meat and it's a very crunchy meat to use in suya because of this um, fatty stripe in it. And I'll also be using tomato, cucumber and onions. So I've got my skewers here. I've got the metal, uh, the wooden skewer which I have soaked in water for about 30 minutes and this is to stop it from burning when it goes in the oven. I've also got the metal skewers which is reusable so whichever skewer you want to use it's according to your preference. Um, for the tozo I've already um, had this cut to the thickness that I want so I'm not slicing it anymore I'm just cutting it into half. Cutting it in half and Tozo is a very tasty meat to use for suya. If you haven't tried tozo in suya, you need to try this. Use tozo to make suya and you will not try any other meat again. And it's usually more expensive than the other cuts of meat that we use to make suya. So for the sirloin, I'm going to slice this to the thinness that I want to use for the suya it's always good to slice the meat very thinly um, so that it can cook quicker and also it doesn't stay too long under the grill the longer it stays under the grill is going to dry up and it's not going to be as tasty as when you know you cook it for a short period so I'm thinning this some a bit more because it looks uh, a bit thick so I've thinned it down a bit and this is the kind of thinness you want for your meat not too thin not too thick and i'm going to cut up the rest of the meat uh, in similar sizes as well so i've placed all the meat in a bowl and i'm seasoning with salt and i'm going to add oil as well and then mix this together the purpose of adding oil is so that the spices can stick the suya spice can stick uh, very well, it can coat the meat very well. So I'll keep rubbing this together before sticking the meat. So I'm sticking the meat using the skewers and you have to be very careful so that you don't prick your finger when sticking the meat. I've lost count of how many times I've pricked my finger with the skewers um, when sticking suya meat and the wooden uh, skewers are more pointed at the tip so they are more likely to prick your finger so be very very careful and just use the in and out movement uh, the in and out motion to stick your meat so it's secured in the skewer the sirloin is much easier to stick because it's a softer cut of meat and again just use the in and out motion to secure the meat onto the skewer so i'm going to continue doing this to the rest of the meat until i stick all the meat onto the skewer so i'm going to start coating the uh, meat with the suya spice and for this i have two ways of doing this I usually kind of, if, depending on the amount of meat that I'm using to make the suya, so I can put this in a flat plate, just put the suya spice in a, pl a flat plate and dip the meat into it to make sure it coats it completely and also sprinkle to coat the grooves as well. And then dust off the excess um, spice and you can see how well coated this meat looks. So the other way I do this, which is a quicker way, I find this to be the quicker way to do it. I just place all the meat in 
uh, on a flat board and I just sprinkle the soya spice onto it again you know with this it goes into all the grooves and it's much quicker so the meats have been coated nicely and I'm placing them in a flat plate I'm going to cover this and leave it to marinate for 45 minutes minimum just to allow the flavor to soak into the meat. The meat can absorb the flavor very, very well. So after 45 minutes, I'm arranging the meat onto the wire rack and I'm going to place this under the grill uh, for 15 minutes at 180 degrees. So it's 15 minutes on each side. So after the first 15 minutes, I'm flipping this over to the other side and then put it back under the grill again for another 15 minutes. So after the second 15 minutes, the meat is well cooked and it's looking so juicy and so appetizing. I can't wait to eat this suya. It's so nice. And for the tozo, I'm going to cut this into bite sizes. And I can, I can hear the crunch as the knife goes through the meat. It's such a delicate and crunchy meat. So the suya is taking pride of place, surrounded by the sliced onions, tomato and cucumber. And I've just sprinkled some suya spice onto the meat. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to click the notification bell so you keep getting my videos when I post them. I'll see you next time. Bye.